Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can set up PHP in Visual Studio Code and how we can run PHP. First, we need to have PHP installed on our system in order to use it in Visual Studio Code. So press your Windows key and open your command prompt. And let's check if we have PHP installed or not. So if you type PHP double dash version, you'll see that PHP is not recognized. This means that PHP is not installed. If you get a PHP version, you can skip this part and you can just jump to the next part where I'll show you how you can uh, run PHP in Visual Studio Code. But if you're also seeing this error, let's install PHP first. Now go to this URL. I'll have this in the link in the description below. And there are also options for installing this in Unix and Mac. So if you are on Linux or Mac, you can just click on any one of these two according to your system. But if you are on Windows, click here on Windows Download for downloading the latest 8.3 version. And in this, you'll see a lot of versions. So we have non-thread safe versions and thread safe safe versions. And also we have 32-bit version. So if by some chance you're on 32-bit versions, you have 32-bit OS, you will need to install, download this zip or this zip. If you want to check how you can know if you have 32-bit or 64-bit version, again, check the link in the description or click the card here on top right. Okay, so now let's click on this zip here to download the thread safe version. And let's wait till this download is complete. Installation is complete. Click on this button to open it in your downloads folder and go to C drive and just paste it here. Click on continue. And now right click on it and click on extract all. This will ask you where you want to extract this. Now remove all these versions from this text and just uh, ha have this C slash PHP and click on extract. So now this PHP folder will be created with all these things inside it. Okay. So now you need to add this to path so you can access it from command prompt or Visual Studio Code. So right now, if I open command prompt again and check PHP double dash version, Again, it will show you that this is not recognized. So what we need to do is you need to copy this path where we have PHP. Okay, and press Windows key and type environment variables. Click on edit system environment variables. Click on environment variables. And here where you see this path, just double click on it. And at the bottom row, double click again and paste it. So this is the path where you have PHP extracted. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And finally, let's open command prompt again. And let's check our PHP version now. And this time, as you can see, it is showing PHP 8.3.13. Now we can go back to our Visual Studio code. Click on this extensions here and type PHP to install the extension for PHP. So here you will see PHP debug, PHP IntelliFence and all this stuff. So if you don't have this installed, from xdebug and this just click on install so you will have this php code intelligence for visual studio code after installing this php intellifence and this intellifence will automatically install php debug for you now once you have these two installed let's try to create a php file or uh, a folder so we'll go to our d drive and let's create a new folder let's call it php project and let's click on select folder. Now we have our PHP project here. So let's create a PHP file. Let's call this index.php. And let's write some PHP code here. Now you can just type PHP and then echo hello world. Let's save this and click on this icon here to run this. And now, as you can see, hello world is printed. So this is how you can set up PHP and run PHP in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.